This is the final event of the fall season of the Segway Reading Series. Tonight, we're going to hear from Jeffrey Olson and Charles Bernstein. My name is Lonely Christopher, and I curated the season with my partner, Van Daniel, who has been unable to join us. This has been SEG's first season back doing live events since the COVID-19 pandemic began, which has brought with it new challenges, surprises, and strange joys. When the 2020 series was derailed due to mass shutdowns and quarantines, the Segway Foundation partnered with another historic downtown arts organization, Artist Space, to pioneer in the digital realm because we felt that continuing to provide live cultural events was important even during a time of great crisis and political action. Segway continued to pay its performers and even managed to increase its honoraria. Our relationship with Artist Space has continued and they are now the new host space for this series and have provided considerable staffing and technical support to this project. Um, let's see, if this is... much thanks to Artist Space Executive Director Jay Sanders and this gallery's amazing staff. It has also been a singular pleasure hanging out inside and around and engaging with A. Arakawa's installation, Social Muscle Rehab. Um, this is the COVID cabana here as part of it, which I think speaks volumes to our contemporary anxieties and desires. The theme of social rehab has been on my mind as I watch readers and audiences return to the series with a newfound appreciation for the communal environment of poetry readings. Enjoying a performer animate their own work live in the same room has been emotional and rewarding after a year and a half or more of isolation. Um, for those who are unable or unready to join us live, Segway and Artist Space has put a lot of effort into designing this new hybrid format with a Zoom simul simulcast that we are planning to continue. Um, and the um, this conversation around bettering accessibility is going to continue as well. Beyond pandemic considerations, I hope that the decisions being made are increasing, oh, this is a bit about the accessibility, uh, accessibility of the series, um, but we're still working on it. Um, I wanna thank special guest introducers who agreed on short notice to provide gorgeous introductions that poets, uh, to poets that Venn Daniel has programmed before several protracted illnesses. Seriously, Venn had their teeth extracted and replaced with prosthetics just prior to the season, then was briefly hospitalized for mental health and has since been attending a daily partial hospitalization program. And now they've been admitted to the hospital since last Wednesday with their, uh, uh, when their appendix violently and extremely painfully burst. Uh, that is about the level of hardship it would take to keep Venn away from this series. Believe me, they really wanted to be part of this. Um, they are still hospitalized today due to post-surgery complications, but we expect a full recovery. Um, let's see, yeah, this has been a difficult year. Um, anyway, thank you to Segway uh, Executive Director James Sherry for all the support. He's been staffing the series in the background, which has been very helpful. Um, and I've enjoyed our after show dinners. Um, I'm happy to be handing the series back over to him and his co-curator, Danielle A. Jackson for the upcoming winter season after Thanksgiving. Um, I wanna heartily thank all the other Segway staffers who have helped this machine run smoothly. And most of all, the readers for making this amazing series what it is. To get things started tonight, I want to welcome Brenda Iajima. She is returning for her second round as guest introducer this season. And she wants to tell you about Jeffrey Olson. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I have been so fortunate to experience Jeff Olson's trajectory as a poet from the time when he first arrived in New York City in 2007. He fits the description of a poet scholar, prodigious in his readings, in the connections he makes, his total dedication, the context that reverberate within his oeuvre. His work falls within the lineages of Leslie Scalapino, Alan Davies, Larry Eigner, P. Inman, and maybe even my work. To date, he is the author of three chapbooks, one forthcoming. I'm very much anticipating his first full length collection. Publishers, please step forward. Jeff's poetry is gossamer, 
ultra fine diaphanous strands of phrasing arranged into delicate structures are reality as reality, evocative of a holism whose energies flow from ecosystems into social spaces with political and historical bearing, every change, every iteration registering psychic undertones. The transitory nature of existence involves the timings and sensual spacings of coming, going, merging, synthesizing, transforming, growing, a process far more complex and myriad than can be contained by the concept of event. Rather, Jeff's undertaking has been to respond notationally to the flickering manifold active state of how the world reveals itself in sentience. Within sentience, the individual morphs in and out of focus, is ensconced in interrelation, a constellatory practice of embrace and release. Here is an ethics of acknowledgement and noticing beyond the purview and insistent dogma of a neoliberal subject and its worldview, ultimately entrapped by a paradigm of codification and containment hazardous and crucial ways to being. Jeff engenders a harmonics of intimacy and expansiveness, bringing into focus that which eludes the gaze or calcified positioning. In a time of maximal bravado and explication, Jeff resists bold statements, resists closure, instead traipses and teeters on suspended threads susceptible to contingencies, the vagrancies, the auras, the energies, reformulating experience moment by moment in ambient diffusion. Thank you. First, I just want to acknowledge um, my immense gratitude, Brenda, for that introduction. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's habitual, but that's good for you all. Um, so I just want to start with a personal note. Um, as Brenda said, uh, I moved to New York in, in 2007, um, April 2007, and um, in May 2007, uh, I went to Segway's uh, Language in the Body panel with Leslie Scalpino, Bruce Andrews, Steve Benson, and Maria Damon. Um, Trace Pierce and Erica Coffin uh, curated that. And I think that event and just Segway in general set off my whole trajectory in poetry and in New York. And um, so I've been going to this series for 14 years. And uh, yeah, it's an immense honor to actually finally <laughs> read in it. Um, um, so yeah, I'm just very glad to be here and with all of you. So um, okay, this work that I'm going to start with, um, so I'm excited to announce that uh, um, Ellis Press, uh, I, I believe a subsidiary of the Signals Press by um, David James Miller is gonna publish this new chapbook, Nerves Between Song. Um, very excited about it. Hmm? The chapbook, just the chapbook. There's still a book, there's still a book waiting. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is, I'm gonna read from this chapbook. Very excited that it's, in the, it's gonna be in the world soon. Um, and each of these poems, uh, they're kind of rectangular and there's kind of, uh, it's about what kind of like drifts into the space of this poem. And um, a lot of this work was engaging with music and film um, and fortuitously uh, one of the later poems, but Milford Graves appears in here. Um, I was listening a lot to Grand Unification around the time I was writing this. And um, uh, I think on some level I wanted to bring in <laughs> that sensibility of pulse that he so magnificently um, explored and embodied. Um, okay, so nerves between song. Marrow insight. Marrow insight, leaf, rose, animal pens, men brushing fingers under white wings, barrenless, care of beings, 
gridless, under heavy liquid, fleeting liquid, raptors. Broad parts are cupped, anti-calamity, forgetting, sounds other birds make as music, infinite pulse made obvious, framing wound lick, soft child looking out, improvis improvising play, cloud scintillates angerless aspect, directionless, ends torment, piece of, of space, of limb, on instant, startling, the calf eye. Mold, molding, spreading, spore, interlinking, lung. What was in spite of taking purple, depopulating, what recovery time continues anyway, in spite. Forest came back, yet not coterminous with human, regulated, quote, emptied. It's depopulated and without use, never met. Conduit of demand, unstewarded, arch purple sky, piles of rotting food, fields to transition. Before invasion was human lived, never listening enough. Nerve between song, between songbird, every direction down to the shore, pace beyond flowering, swimming granite altered, a nest buzz, a nest for us creatures. Cord is cordata, spinal recharge from bone and branching outward, where held human circuit circle into the suspend, hold myself in pedal, suspend every point, heat of reading a spectral vibrant underneath, coheres around a purple loop, a green branch or herb, use, anti-concrete against dust or ash, the soldier who is lover and tiger, tiger recedes into glowing tree of life, films deepening living, living envelops, green and myriad, cattle of the woods, deep breath where the insurgent moves, outer flowering. Um, that poem uh, is for Leslie Scalampino, is inspired by her incredible work. Communist forests, tiger light, dark interrupt, broad leaf, my dusk, transform out of animal, always animal, communist forests, ghosts haunt the woods. When the two touch, soldier's mouth, he only hunts his love, it's violent in the dark. In the beginning, the men are laughing and posing with a man who is dead and naked, the field too hot, the grasses. They sit on the ponchos. Does he have orchids? Light half and dark half recede. Feels so much inward forest, dark purples, moon film versus bliss day. It's nourishing, rain ellipsis, bliss breath in the enfolding plants. Nerve between song, pervasive heat circles, comes back as nerve between song over the crowd. He I'm sorry, I lost that. Over the crowd, he an iridescent flowering field. My teeth fall away, my own, in the inviolable. I share in a natural orbit, crushing devastation looms. Let the overgrowth going backward, a social fold. Consistencies with purple gaze, light sighs, song swirling in sigh. It's trumpet on edge between people meeting, expressing forms of hope grazing, gentle cow eye, gentle cow mouth, pigs have moist snouts, rub their belly, pig falls over on their side and is silent, that off field, some settlement overgrows, surge after scions. Manted, and this is the poem that is, is um, uh, attempt to write with and in honor of Milford Graves, um, yeah. Percuss image, circle, heart chart, wood figure, drum in flowers flowering, 
in international garden. Iron sculpt from rust tools, falling without wound, heart, pulse, full, life. Full mantis, being mantis, so many times, this happy pulse, sad pulse, multiplied and manifold. Don't analyze, instant million outside. Insistent feet is every directional, listened to body shape. Parasympathetic, more than shadow, than tongue to lip, to brow, to face. Pulse were face and tear, watching wasp and bees. Yellow overwhelm, more than grace, infinite unification, his discovery, circulatory infinite universe. Heat, little circular, embrace ash, voice entangles shadow prison, little figure stretch against landscape, that stolen, that invaded, that incarcerated, Wood surface sweats alone, built. The noise is piano, dissolves piano. Current, what is gray eye? Cat length, sinuous wrap self with tile, curling inward. Heat clips sentence, want of meaningful. The reserve is heat, a leather patch. It dissolves bit by bit, finding shade, evaporation. We lick each other the rock for rock salt, permission for ecstasy, impossibly ways, a continuous turning down, quote, what's the word for this ongoing? Okay, so this next series that I'm gonna read from, um, I wrote this over the last year or so, year and a half. Um, and uh, these poems were, uh, I either waited till dusk, so it was getting so dark that I couldn't see the page, or the reverse. Um, so it's starting in darkness and like writing out of it, um, which seems like a way to approach 2021. Um, I've, I can't remember what, any, like I've tried to mix this up so I can't remember um, which is which, though I think that's relevant only to me. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so goes. Anxiety threads the blue dark in my room enveloped blue depth. The second part, immiseration. The third part, recognizing the enemies of all beings and the wish to see blue light imbued, a collective moon, a little glint. Home sheet sound begins here melted. Resting shoulder, endemic pain. People feel like shit. Oceans garble song speech. Sheer noise call. Room brought all these rooms, sorry. Room brought all these musicians together. Adept aptitude, not fury. Other disappearances, ritual song. Starts where the weight comes in. Bass vibration, watching for iridescent waves. Purr, hopeful voids, abundant crowds made explicit. Communist music, cat curious about writing, implement dormancy at peace, to slow down, recede, reptilian consensus, watch the learned in end area. Always in process. I'm wrapped around the point, the pointlessness, a red box, a call, caw, cry, feathered edge descending of me silent and next, in numbness, cosmos lift out silent materially, like a gauzy film, sticky sense left over, held to up stretch, I take to take up less, intake, valueless, haloed, mitigate the leaden hollow, shroud, winged lawlessness, knowledgelessness, the taste, silent to plague, overperformed, no. Quote, is the waste trackless, Larry Agner. Peace of moment mind, you slant, rearing a subterranean feel, halts grip me. I've tuned in, stalled, just blanked in sheer light of day, no domain here, in noises hearing, 
lurching against an edge of cat, feral edge, abandonment, quiet pharmacy, a volume pounds, value pearls on little dissolved tongue, turned toward the subterranean pill where lurching throughout that thin feeling in acres of twilights, a neat suborn, a crinkled lyric in the protein edge and nutrient feel. I also wanna note that cats show up a lot because if you have kittens, a way to utilize the fact that they wake you up way too early every morning is to do this process of a poem that starts at darkness and goes to, to light. So they just kept showing up um, mainly because they're crawling on the page and trying to eat my pen. Um, but so this one, um, this poem is the, I think this is the New Year's Day poem. Um, um, bodied froth year rising feeds exhalation, plosives, carceral continuum US offering, reads decay, replicate one new knowing, man holding chicken in hand, no clear to launch trajectory, noise split, part, we sensual swerve, we rose open, bent to pigments, figments last whiff of year end, sharked bubbler burbles, green ends to rote decay, Sharp finds fin. Here's the threshold of sensation between the new, just trembling in hairs. Wears winter lightly. No, as repetition, quote, I don't have hope. Years replete with repeated pulses, demonically writ without clarity, without a legible we. Feel brutal years wind around precepts. Speech babble willful, unknowingly as poem, bath. Cusp as noise sounds, poppy as time, a grass locution toward extraction. Each sifted soil, repressive granule. Fire, rose, seared, blue saturation. Squeeze fur, each flashes delicate, wrenched. Open felt as blur in political space. I speak to me, no context for clarity, what you bring to me, each fractal delight unfurling, flailing, withdraw surface, failing, just soft the dirt, it's my attention, just as the rest of dance pulses, cat fur, yellow eyes, non-human time and touch within that time's slow and gorgeous eases, orange fabric, fields sensed magnetic, anti-individual clarity, purpose or calling as meaningless obfuscation to infer. I think I left my water over there. One second. <laughs> Would I consult the dark in the form of, off the tips of my fingers, in the soil excavating the cavern, cavity, phoneme, tongue, Fertilizer sunsets, profuse downtone sounding out, moldy wall crumbled, soiling. I'm come out into waves where anger focused against, enveloping in finance, our faces commune, dark other silent rooms plot on screen. Dream splits open a bourgeois flesh at the edge of bleeding, stitched close. Weathered. In shroud works in sheet. I'm a person in the determination, obliterating, weaponized, reversed valences of ruling class, robbed of, quote, poetic. There's continuation moving through poems, through shuttered store, Walgreens, plastic bags, accumulated belongings, a read just forward of syntax, an illegal legacy, leafy despite nor. Sorry. An illegal legacy, leafy, respite, no furtherance, nor the age of fash. Instead, soft forms, compassion, love the good creatures for their furry bellies, forgetting moments all could change, rescind, dry awakenings pulse, where the link seethes an opening, each transfer between presences buried. Self dissolve purple room confine, solidarity body bodied into quarter time. Nothing loops back. What will be outside the hole held clustering? Purchase into me social insect, 
interred in the distant siren, distant scrim. Dissolving guitar, breath and clarity were attention, where little sensations subside and survive, striking wall of droplets, a chord like searching, poem search less. Clarity offering twilight, part of the hand that eats the bread that holds offering taste. Specific cleared in the horse, water cell movement, mouth lights between the graphic black gray. Bug light life, clarity of my life in offering in protective hand, segmented tenuous muscle 10, the numbers half in dark, half light, lit flex of grim viral, memoried land they held own. That is me in sight, in tired sounding property, in moving light, let us this bread. Have selves submerge in blue, plangent rise, form as song, where I start. My temper torpor, my translucent failure, concrete attention in the eve of waves, knowing a form of despair, knowing what it is to chase up slender stare, decaying material wealth shadow, sound in attention to thin half light, ears plugged, an ocean, black purple inscription, alleging spring night trails behind me, river, streams intent, anti-human stockpile, think themselves survival, fond for themselves, a leaving for an eye, a leaf, a bowl, substance me, tongue, pool of my hearing, plugged into twilight's off pitch. Dark we flow, innermost value, fiery latency, stare down, mimic values, pharmacy fringe, a sheet held over use, utility, fought over food, not belongings, winter silences, reached the labor, felt impressions, indent on skin of the abrasion, slow heel, Blue-green tenderness, opaque, sheer me, cardboard the altered exigency, waving faster than prose to all rhythm at once. Instead of a nation, a winter field, claws over me, it's time to unfold my whole being, shimmers in the clasp of grace, green leaves, brown fields, utter receptivity speeds through, an element of justice. Legitimizing farce, whirl of birds, blue jay behavior, breads, torrent in the toothy edge, in liminal layer of mine, in memory of burning forest, a red edge, tempered list. We wheel among frontier orbits, a form of talk, blood feel sharp, pulls at dead, at death, flesh and succor as nor life over property. The lingual fold embraces me, me in the forgetting leaves, me in the white image of a blazing no. Shift down, shift outcomes, the song blank, blankening, blanketing. Body lurches, compel, body lurches compelled twilight concaves, closures, galaxies deep enclosures, web of fingernails wrapped in protective gear, a bloodless impossible, the concrete overburden crisis, quote, if the wealthy live and all else die, lurching in morbid purple fog, imaged in thought, my torso remains in the light, imbued new intimate configurations, exit control, blood taste, even the passage for the dead, out of fentanyl, all else be twilight and feral limb in calamity, in the breakage of song, lure a swamp, mud, ash, peat, live as us in us. This is the form, rigid bleak exterior, that's muscle, muscling a glow, laps. I'm sealed, we make a play, we drift, dapper, eyes are shorn, Known meets out of domestic, nothing fantasy feeding, now parsley. Cells limit, incubate desire, analytic, too deep in that theory. 
everything holding, parsing a distance, tongue tone of massing weight comforts here, wrapped in warped pools, waits for dawn, gravity grips, lingers. Um, uh, so before I start this last segment, I am, um, I just want to thank Lonely and, and thank Ben so much for, for keeping this running and, and curating me and, um, um, and say what an honor it is to read with Charles. Um, um, yeah. So I'm going to read from, this is a new sequence of poems. Um, and uh, I, these, these are more, I think the intent here was to be led by sound and see more of what comes from that, um, whether that holds up. Um, and I think wanting to have play or improvisation in poem somewhat, even though it's the moment is in the past and, and frozen. Um, so um, yeah, I'm gonna go into this work. Uh, and there, there isn't a title for this yet. Um, Dissolvable inhabitants weirdly lies, parched marsh streets, seals spray viable sentience, grim objects, meats out of time, verdure veering limit, sloth as minima, mere dreaming. Mellowed gathered Marxist goes late greenery surrounding the gate, spectral vengeance village starts. Time is not, is offering. Each improvisation spills, each effort, each sensation meeting in the people, green lights flutter. I'm laughing, but it's not funny. Momentary sight, situation, let. Over the conflation of ghosts, mar sound. That slowing pulse waits in the bath, the both of poem. Render as music, recedes mere horror, rends the swamp, the sleeping left before the social, each limit in the shading, shard. Quote, geared to this writing, alone, leaves filter light, cold working. It's writing, start lung swim in air. Lunar outcomes, subsist on moonlight alone, narrow defeat time, watching enrichment, greed, and mesh by fear, predatory wake, stalking human predator class, surpass insect drone in woods. Locate this song. Weights, edge of trees, glow. Wait between trunks. Trunks of trees, wild edge, passing shadowed borders, sear, swings edge of growth, wisdom passages, presaged, recognized, and still, undercrowd, undergrowth, a current underneath, undertow, sucks underneath recognition, a pleasant feel or unexpected. Lunar surface with trees, placeless real, feel bark, tongues through light of stars, taste extra humor, uh, sorry, taste extra human inner acquiescence without mire, marrow gulch. Sacral screen, air, sacral screen, ear wears doubtless, exposition curls around, winters in faces, focal vacancies, sacred still earth or fire, vagrancies. These loops are an evasion, this sounding, depths as noise and noise depths, not legality. Where winds over sound, where? Quote, numerical coldness, sheer range edges out of knowing, out of open. I read a door here and you read me. Lure, compassion, collision, indifference, eager, outward noise, unfurling breadth. Mere measure sunder, we lost the way and didn't name the we. Cleaved, smooth smear, speak comrade, my time smears ahead of me. Condensed particles breathed, booked, altered earths, dirt awakening striated with education, still sweep slowly as view, via near attend. In noisy music, smash free fenced. Born together, collective watching a colonial current, torn bordered world, bombed bearing, mesh. There's a part about me in here, uneasing, hearing the crease, arbitrating winter sleet, 
armed embrace again, riftless, burn the flag in the algae wake, burn the wind, woe that wakeful cosmogenic smear within orbit in ear. Cling safe word, defunct sunline, tasting blood in lieu of lyric, bleat fet as debt, green palms, shimmer, spilling pavement crease. Watching the men touch the men in the hotel's blue light, in the aggrieved sensation, quote, we aren't a family without you in it, overheard, child in. Seals and open, spring, fall, seasonal deprivations. Flooded as alien light casts as human, trees in the prevaricating present, walled in over waves. The market opens every hour in distillation in beastlinesses all unknown, cribbed stereotype distended and dishonest, pale purple light infuse my awareness. The cow stills on hills, white ox. We think of things as awakenings, sorrow non-visible to others, quote, is that who you write to? Sorrow filled or filed rim, rimless awakening or nimbus, the ink ocean, turn to circling trash, swells sound, voices around what's, quote, history, afloat in pain under shaded nimbus, cumulo nearness, hear the edge honed in sound, altering around us, situated me accentuates, rose, leaves right alongside, quote, this wandering in the desert, dirt, dust, Dusting, dint of don't, no better, ceases, sound oiled, where expands remembering, shapes, a turn round the tongue, fold the tongue, keep on it, onward, shifted solar snows, capacious, guilty biome. Thank you. Thanks so much, that's Jeffrey Olson, and we're gonna be back uh, after a very brief break with Charles Bernstein. Thank you. 
We'll, we'll get restarted soon if everybody can find their way to their seats. Um, and also, if you're in the back, there are four seats open up here if you feel like sitting up front. There are seats available. Okay. Now to hear from Charles Bernstein, uh, who founded this reading series with the poet Ted Greenwald in 1978. It was first known as the Readings at Ear Inn, 
uh, since that's the bar where they first hosted it. Uh, the Ear Inn, yeah. Um, the premiere lineup was John Ashbery and Michael Lally. Was anybody there? Yeah. <laughs> uh, who I think were both maybe in the closet at the time, at least in print. So it sounds like a queer reading, but apparently wasn't understood as such. Um, both Bernstein and Greenwald are important figures in the language poetry movement and are both Ruth, Ruth authors several times over. Charles really needs no introduction, but he gets one anyway, especially because I just read his latest collaboration with Greenwald, The Course. Um, he's put his copy up here already. Um, yes, which I think of as a long poem, although it's not quite, and which provides a generous capstone to Greenwald's poetry career. Ted passed away in 2016, missing the really bizarre intervening years. And the course was published by Roof in 2020. It was one of the titles that was more or less bulldozed by the pandemic. But we're here a little belatedly to acknowledge and share it along with Bernstein's even more recent collection, Topsy Turvy from the uh, University of Chicago Press. The course is educational, but not didactic. Here, the act of matriculation might be the goal unto itself. The collection follows some new hybridized pedagogy with which I'm unfamiliar. It's two guys at the top of their craft in perfect rhythm on the page, faithfully relying on their instincts, the natural flow of friendship honed through decades of academic discourse followed by chats over drinks. This isn't a how-to course so much as a why-to. It's like a grad level reading seminar on language poetry using the vernacular and techniques of its subject to explicate itself, which is something Stein also championed like in composition as explanation, but we'll get back to her later. The course is a demonstration of the essential fragment, which is a term I just made up. The essential fragment contains the entire DNA sequence of the larger construction from which it was taken, but functions as synecdochally holistic because not despite of its brokenness. Sometimes in the course of reading the course, it feels as if I'm studying lists of conjugations or tenses in a specialized language that does not fit together in quite the same way as familiar English. Fit, flit, sit, quilt. The poets start out slow with monosyllabic words that slowly expand into lines and stanzas. Each word its own line here. Chair announces radiant flesh, where chair, which is in parentheses, rhymes and ricochets off the word care that ends the previous stanza. In places, words are isolated as if being precisely diagrammed and elsewhere I feel transported into a new vibrantly chaotic state of being best described in the poet's words as verb drape. I'm being inundated slip by slip, slope by slope to the sounds of these writers percolating on purpose. They do so well with abstractly describing their methodology as this text machine hits the reader like a cathedral bouncing. In 1988, Greenwald taped an interview with Bernstein for the Poetry Project newsletter. Ted, does language have a future? Charles, language only has a future and we can find it only in the present. Perhaps he's referencing Stein's continuous present, which has provided so much substance for the language coterie adding quote, it's too bad many, this is Charles talking, it's too bad many people find the present in language something that makes no sense to them. Because if we can't make sense of or with the present, then prospects for the future are none too good. And our ability to understand or respond to the past is numbed if not obliterated, end quote. I'm not uh, sure much has changed about our general relationship and discomfort with the present, except the future probably turned out scarier than most predicted. I can only think of so many writers unafraid of the present, they do tend to be more interesting. Stein writes, quote, a composition of a prolonged present is a natural composition in the world, unquote. This might explain how the course reads so breezily and is so friendly like the drawl of a favored professor despite its semantic disruption because it embraces the honesty of the instant. Bernstein and Greenwald were poetic dance partners, as Yi Feng has it, showing us, quote, the root of their poetic inquiry, melding Greenwald's swan song into Bernstein's poetics, unquote. There is a natural synergy between Greenwald and Bernstein, so they mesh well, grow slightly indistinguishable, even to themselves. Charles writes, quote, neither of us could fully separate what each had done. We were blowing together back and forth in a duet of and as time, bouncing off the moment as if it were a trampoline. There was no sense of unnecessary limit, no register we couldn't play. The experience was a freedom within the constraints 
we made up intuitively for each poem, end quote. The term intuition catches me there because it reminds me that masters of the craft make what they do look easy, but they're leveraging reflexes built up over decades, relying on ingrained skills and knowledge to construct a system of language that does what's required of it. The Bernstein-Greenwald partnership was a nexus through which shared language flowed, creating a discourse. They have their own shorthand for communication, and this was further developed through creative collaboration. Now, I wish I had as much time to devote to Bernstein's latest Topsy Turvy, but I'm not gonna, gonna keep talking the entire night up here. Um, but I also don't need to talk it up. We all know it's great. You see a book with Susan B's painting on it, and you know you're gonna love it. Charles will be sharing from both texts tonight. Lucky us. It appears to me that um, as we continue to crawl our way out of the pandemic, there's going to be an explosion in creative arts, perhaps on a Renaissance level, and we're just in for a really generative, groundbreaking period of art making, I hope. Not about the pandemic, but in response to how the terms and conditions of humanity seem to have changed drastically in recent years. Bernstein, as usual, is a little ahead of the curb, and this book, Topsy Turvy, is almost like reading tomorrow's newspaper. It's an eclectic jumble of emotions and insight. We've been dealing more with the anxiety of infection than the anxiety of influence these days. And appropriately, the poet hits us with Covidity, a poem which I seem to remember he wrote rather early on in the crisis. And his creepy line, the COVID gonna get me, rattled around in my head as I heard my neighbor cough on the subway. Bernstein writes, the COVID coming, sure to get us good, our lungs are weak, and we are much misunderstood. His poem, Plan of Action, resonates with me. What if we just didn't? I think we're all asking ourselves simple questions with existential answers these days. And maybe as Charles writes, this is just a taste of what's to come. Please welcome the inimitable Charles Bernstein. Thank you so much, Lonely. I'm so glad you dwelled on the course. We were indeed going to do an event at Mimi Gross's foundation with uh, Ted's wife and other people. And of course, that got canceled right at the beginning. So um, it's great that you talked a little about that and mentioned Ted. Um, and uh, of course, thanking you for the series and also, uh, boy, uh, thinking of Ven and uh, what an ordeal, but I'm glad to hear he's presumably getting better and be out of the hospital soon, but thank him too. Uh, and it's uh, great uh, to be in this space with the fantastic show upstairs, Noel for Chris, what an incredible show and how fantastic to be a, a part of it. And I thank Jay Sanders uh, for that. And also for some of you, if you've not been to this space, this is a visionary thing that he's created here, including this wonderful performance space that he always talked about. I'm hoping in the future there'd be cocktails. That's what I've always said. And he has that in mind, but can't happen right now, as well as coffee. And um, it's great to be in this uh, space. Uh, so um, I, I thought I'm going to certainly read from uh, the course. And uh, maybe I'll just start with the poem from that. Now, I'm going to read one poem from the course. And it's um, called Sunday Kind of Love. And it's um, Pretty long poem. It's all single word lines, which is something that uh, Ted uh, worked with early on. And so he and I did this single word line poem. Picks up where thought trails, ask you guys doors, clothes, wavy palms, a nice leg, a plan, bag, snoop, I'd been meaning. Slakes, thirst, rars, drift, cuppa, did thanks later, song, ball with hat, word eating moment, cooking garb, laments, total phase, in as in, eh, in for buzz, breath, wizened, sour, slate, in just, just, mini, trump or jammed, in joyance, beamed as way, whack, oh, maniac, lisp, lifts, lure, the cat, Canyon, woody afternoon, no names, please abhor, I, 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 jaundice, which make that which cult drop something true, what they say, forward, deploy, 
eyes that that same thing, boring, true, boring fallacy upon the pond of uneven char stuck in same old rut and chill in here, defoliate all, getting used, used to how, do, what, light in every rumor, peace, miss, ing, ing, g, strip at, catch, breeze, floats, face, fares, snap, aptitude alarms in Bilbo snore time on a ship, bins, mine, binds, to touch, meet all, commas, woods in words, bottom, pal, line, me, love, dog whistle, invisible ink, wink, media, mere, clock, sock, doc, flop, crock, fickle, dd, dumsy, and dumsier, cleanse, wens, when, change, tone, and some play, pities, tons, fair, tons, make, orby, grasp, set, call, troom, don't, p annoying, Cloud, alloy, hills to pine, atone the somebody else confused for me. You, this, hiss, always you art got some on art walls, basic introversion, can, com, cane, claim, frets to tatter, grizzle, inter, dope, plan creeps, want a way to give back slice, a sluice, suede. Carpaccio, vision, cuts, swelf, going, g -g 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 gimps, fat, not, not to get too kicky, wits, not gotten, swat, ugh, air, thrown, withers, over, out, out, so got, out, they picks, borders, gleam on, er, ideas, fired, sums, sworn, silo, hey, either ear, bother life behind, the life behind, offshore salient entire vamp it made it gawk several um soot can have mouth moth hot ingenuosity velcro sunset bitter coupons day mine blind bilbo echnoid houseplant simmer maybe meandering be you'd snap hags pan and egg knit sand harms wait clap oars gee who takes trap slit here who pricks hair through ah lot total dead face you know nice be indoors speak rough a uh, now and darch calvin eights expectations silt serbucca envision sleepy Guilt, guilt, fountain, stray, electrons, mosquito, bone, world, too wise, find new roads, change, some change, some fade into charm, strum, grazed impossible reams to instant score, down, runway, cup of coffee, teach back, moron, real world, what they mean, winner, take all, states of Mindy, we all got Bosses, frozen stare, innuendo attends, inoperable bleep time, smoke, rings, lassoing experience, cleft severance, holds fire, call the now in flaunt of bay circle in red eye stick, a round circle in red eye stick, a round crushes, wrote, wears, then beam, sort, bane, groping, splat, Vexation, slumpers, muster, ecstatic dreams make, makes dreams, tunnel, light. Isn't that interesting? Underpills eternity, not a good sign. Mind, if ask, mind couldn't help thinking. Call now, brain splints to eye, collects border, saturation and leaf notes, bye-bye, struts, egret, flies over vamp. Nothing feels quiet like take your R feel me what me no vast pleasure across today's today eye on clouds ears grounded sootly sound rolls tuttering throng gains begun pillories oceans copious murk the boiler fi fo uh, uh, mm. 
air chiller pressure drop song. Don't stow stone, stow don't song, drop pressure, chill. Airs depend solo, rippling if. Not for high negatives, low forgives the fear. Just simply this room with third eye, floor spammed, ingredients goner foods like no get out, which you just swear, Jesus, if I, if I, if I, ready to travel sorta, showers, buds, budding just got interesting. Sorta sear you, flooding duds, us, ot, ear, uds, if I'd, bungling of sorta fudge, ooting, sting, grot, what, if the was a place, why wait to meet someone, greet, drink, chase, stand, the thought, donut, r, an, immels, call, bottom line, num, brr, when you join today, join today, member, one set, dogs, beautiful piece, dead kid, gun, go, got, gumption, flipped, fur, fume, interregum, Monday, moody, switch, and bear, Cleanse entropy of dreams, wreck, re, a, shun, finds distraction, debate socialism of the helicopter, culled keepsakes, girl, bring sheet, stovepipe, info, handspring, bedspring, look at map. Move forward, what ill tell M rain begins face opening day, bunting bros, my want, my entropy, my exclusion, my saucepan, my ineptitude, my mince, my fare, my way, my gotcha. So some poems from Topsy Turvy. Also wanted to say great to read with, with Jeffrey and to meet him and, and hear him for the first time. This is called Zeno's Way. It'll sound familiar. Three steps ahead, knock to floor. Get up, push two steps behind, knock down again. Get up, two steps ahead, time out. Push back one step, push ahead three steps. Push back one step, pushed sideways, five steps. Knocked out, wake up, groggy, five steps to back in place. Continue on as before, as after. Freudian slap. An old man's best friend is the past. A grievance, not the end of politics, but a point of contact. Solidarity of slights slips into crystal nights as compulsory illiberalism's hypnopompous ardor sours in minds preternatural larder. Every day can't be yesterday since tomorrow is over before today is done. You can decide what you will do, but not what you want. Fade out to the sounds of Shak Shuka and his Israel-Palestine orchestra coming to you from the Cosmogonic Ballroom in Midtown Manhattan. The aunt of my uncle is the cousin of my nephew. 
restive foreshadowing delays mourners piercing pulse, even as it is likely slotted for done heartening deplore, quick messenger in place along soldier bars or calming graves, the more the more intends when scrape embroiders fleece like heirs where terraced front abhors their frame. You throw like a pearl. If you can't stand the sand, get off the beach. If you can't bear the bother, seek nirvana. If you can't take Daytona, it's not the heat, it's the Republicans. This poem is entitled, Somewhere Between Hopelessness and Despair is a stop called poetry. Get out now. This is at Pessoa's grave. I'm not me, nor you knew. I'm not me, nor you, you. Neither we, we, but all's found in them's they. Buster Keaton's sleeve. Verse is a tease. Prose will please. Poetry's liquor, but prose is quicker. Ours impotence. Poetry is made not of ideas, but of words. Poetry is not made of ideas, but words. Poetry is made not of ideas, but of words. Of words, poetry is made, not ideas. Word, words is what poetry is made of, not ideas. Not of ideas. Poetry is made of words. Is made of words, poetry, not ideas. Made not of ideas, but words. Poetry. Clouds after rain. Exhaustion follows hard labor. Also profligacy. Strong wind breaks even the mightiest bow and lots of twigs on the way. Even the most difficult path is a beginning. Every lies a kind of truth. Truth is never sincere. The greatest care is a form of ontological abandon. Hope wounds eternity. Feelings are heartless. Trust is cousined by cruelty. Before every step, is a step. The hardest step is before the first. First step is standing still. What the kind lack in intelligence, the intelligence lack in kindness. For those both intelligent and kind are a laughing stock to all. The happy are out of tune with their grief. A lost soul is at home in his homelessness. Every child regrets her innocence. What is just ahead is almost behind. Essence without existence is like politics without history. Reality is not behind a veil, it is a veil. The thing itself is not in disguise, it is disguise. Grief is tonic to despair. The darkness he called night. 
Virtue's a kind of despair, masquerading as care. A bitter current is for virtue sweet. Sublime wine sours its mouth. Snakes eat from its hands. Jackasses obey its whim. Self-domination papers its path. Method is its MO, holding height to a higher love and fervently displayed empathies. Virtue's sword is truth, in love with itself, at odds with others, celebrating standards it fashions. Virtue jams miscreants, shams malcontents, shaming those abjure improvement. The passion of virtue is reprimand. Nothing is more beautiful to virtue than compelling justice and shattering dissent. Slashes in a pan that will never absolve aesthetics. Shima. Here's real, lore our God, annoyed echo. So the last time, well, not the last time, last time I was with a group in this space was uh, an incredible memorial for Steve Dalachinsky. And um, I thought I would read the poem that I wrote for Steve that I read that, that night. Steve and me and Andy Lampert were having this raucous conversation at the rail party a week back. Steve was sitting on Fong and Natalie's fire escape at the edge of that huge black steel grate terrace. You know, the kind you feel you're just about to fall through, tumbling 50 feet to the courtyard below. It was the end of summer and we gobbled up the barbecue dogs with relish, ugh, Steve seemed tired or weary, maybe, a bit subdued. We regaled him about what folks nowadays find funny and what they don't. Don't get me started. Steve taking it all in with his curmudgeonly charms. Three wandering tumblers sharing a moment of solidarity in a world sooner than you know melts or turns ashen. Steve had a grace that refused grace, and I think he would have laughed at the premature reports of his death after his brain stopped in its prodigious tracks while his body kept on going, giving him a last dose of brute life. I was just getting to know him. May his memory be as much of a goddamn blessing as his presence always was. So I'm going to read a few new poems to finish. And the first um, is for Jacob Blake and Ahmad Arbery. It's called Self Defense. Jew will not replace us if we shoot him first. This one's called Fishing, Fixing the Bishop's Nose for Tan Lin. It's a long way to the tip of a prairie, a long way to hem and hone. Earth's hearth, hardened heart, gobbled by limited term incentives. Act now, the term of art, loss shoveled over loss with a finite porcelain glaze. Or is it glade? The words get confused in a cornucopia of dyspraxia, left for right, but not up for down, 
Dunce's dancing, rock solid, a headlong plank tailgating to is real until is not. Oh, Zion, sock me a solid, soiled ox, blemish like totally, prayer shawl in my other pants, coil on overnight. A favorite song of mine, uh, which I've often thought to be a kind of anthem for myself, uh, with music by Antonio Carlos Jobim and words by Newton Mendoza, who was 1927 to 1960, very short lived. It's a song been covered by hundreds of people. Desa Finado, um, often translated as off key. I went back to it because I thought, well, what, what? What would, it, what would it look like to see what was going on in this as a poem? And so I, this is my translation of this famous song called Off Beat. If you say I'm off beat, my dear, you know it hurts me. Ain't that clear? Only the privileged have ears like yours. All I got's what's given by my dear Lord. If you insist my behavior is unsuitable, classifying my compositions unmusical, my argument may be untenable, is that it's bossa nova that is the most natural. What you don't know, what you refuse to sense is my off beats come straight from the heart. I photographed you with my Roloflex. What I see is that you don't love my art. Don't talk about my love. It's far more than you are capable of. You and your music forget the key. The sounds inside me beat off key, deep and quietly inside of me. The beats off key to hit the heart, but you don't see. This poem is called, My Mom Will Pay You on Venmo. As soon as she gets back from the forest where she's gone to meditate with the singing Neanderthals, or maybe it's the dragon man or tiger lady. These times sure do press on you. And all you can do is hang in or hang on or wait for the whole goddamn era to blow over. Or is it bow out? W.J.T. Mitchell was doing a feature coming up in the next issue of the Brooklyn Rail on Twilight of the Gods, which is the, from, from Nietzsche, he asked a number of people to contribute, uh, the kind of end of your idols, the fading of the idols that you grew up with. And, um, you know, I have a problem with that because I'm so old, I can't even remember the idols that I grew up with, but... Um, I, I wrote a poem for that, or, but that's different than this, but I also wrote a poem for Tom, um, simply called Twilight of the Gods. Idols of summer gone, winter stays, lost my love in a storm, won't be back this way. Every day's twilight, life sits on the shelf next to clutter of brick a brack. Lysol cans, rumpled felt, idols of salad days, utopias of youth, don't add up to a hill of beans or a ride on a glass-bottomed boat. Idols of times gone by sting like those hissing green flies. Buzz over, buzz kill lingers on. Climate changes or maybe just catches up. Summer idols gone, winter 
doesn't stray. Lost my love in a storm, won't be back this way. So in the same spirit of revisiting lyrics and their translation, this is a um, famous Herman Hesse, 1911 poem that famous because it's Strauss set it to, to song and uh, I've done a translation of it. It's called Near Sleep. Days tired me out. My headlong longing greets starry night like a weary child unleashed, hand freed of all doing, head forgetting all thinking, all my senses hunger for slumber, and my soul released floats out in boundless flight spellbound through the night, plunging wildly, at last alive. And I'm going to end with a short and famous poem, Catullus V, translation I did with, Carlo, with Carla Brunello. Let's live and love my lesbia. Forget those tired rumbles of the old. Who could care less? Day's light rises and falls till it sets once and for all on our never ending sleep. Give me a thousand kisses, then hundreds, one thousand and hundreds more, forever add thousands to hundreds. And when we get beyond count, we'll lose track of numbers, forget them all, so that no one who'd harm us will ever know how many times we kissed.